Victoria Cyclones are with us. They have a date in the Sweet 16 next weekend in Boston. Head coach TJ Otzelberger is with us, along with Trey King and Taman Lipsy. We're going to ask TJ to start off with a statement on this game, and then we'll go to questions for all three of the gentlemen on the dais. TJ, please. Yeah, it's an uh, honor to be sitting up here. Played uh, a really good Washington State team. Coach Smith does a phenomenal job. Those guys play with great purpose. Uh, they're a very physical team, and they're a very, they had a tremendous season. We knew it would take our very best today, and we were fortunate, especially in that second half, that, that we had that. So uh, hats off to our guys for their, their toughness, their competitive spirit, and, and for stepping up, especially in that second half. But we knew it was going to be a really challenging game, and uh, hats off to Washington State because they brought the best out in us. We'll start on the right-hand side. Thank you. Sam McEwen from the Omaha World Herald. Taman and Coach, this is questions for you. Even though you didn't have much success offensively in the first eight minutes, could you sense that both Taman and Keyshawn's drives were starting to soften them up a little bit and that that paid dividends later in the game? We'll go with Taman first, then the head coach. Definitely. Me and Keyshawn were just trying to stay aggressive. Obviously, our shots uh, weren't falling from the perimeter uh, to start that game, but we were just locked in defensively, trying to uh, take our mind off of the offense, let, let that uh, come to us and uh, just stay aggressive like we did. We were able to draw some fouls, get to the line later in that first half, and um, just staying aggressive is, is, thing, is the thing that me and Keyshawn do so well, and uh, that was able to make it be a big factor as the game got going. Yeah, I would say, you know, we, we take a tremendous sense of pride in scoring off of our defense, and, you know, that, that didn't happen early. They did a good job spacing us out and having us behind the plays. Uh, probably the stat that we look at the most to determine how well we're doing is points off turnovers. And, and we had 21 to four. So I think, you know, our, our guys are a very together and poised group. Um, we prepare and practice in such a way that we know we're going to have adversity. And uh, credit to Washington State doing a great job putting us on our heels. And, and, you know, credit to our guys for not panicking, not getting too low or, or you know, emotional and just. Stay in the course, waiting for it to come back around for us. Question for Coach Alec Bussey, 24-7 Sports. Um, earlier in the year, you've talked about you guys having a diverse scoring attack. I think you had four or five guys finish with at least 10 points, 21 points off the bench from two players. How much do you feel like that really helped you guys kind of push through some of the struggles you had early in the game? Yeah, it, it helped us a lot. I mean, certainly, you know, we didn't score great early. Kurt Jones hitting that three early on was a big shot. And he's been, you know, that, that great impactful guard scorer off the bench and playmaker for us when he gets in and has an instant impact. And Hassan did a terrific job right away, also got to the foul line and um, was getting behind the defense. Um, he's such a terrific lob threat. So, again, Balance, to me, it's, it's about our guys making the right play and playing for one another. So uh, regardless of you know, how a team defends certain things, we have a plan of attack to take advantage of that. And our guys take so much pride in making the right play for each other. And usually what happens when you do that is there is, there is balance to your offense. And it's been really good for us, especially the last few weeks. You talked there about Curtis's uh, three-pointer to get you guys on the board with a field goal. He's been someone who's knocked down big shots for you all season. How much confidence do you have in him kind of being able to step up and make those kind of shots and big moments for you? Yeah, I mean, I, I think if there's evidence by his playing time and, and how much we have him out there in key situations, he's had a lot of games over the last 8 to 10 where he's led us in minutes played, and that's coming off the bench, which shows you how much we believe in him. And, and then his teammates, the confidence they have and, and looking for him. I mean, these guys – do such a great job uh, of finding each <laughs> each other. So um, proud of Kurt for staying aggressive and proud of his teammates for continuing to find him. Down here in the front row, thank you. Uh, Greg Wood, spokesman of you. Uh, TJ, you guys were blitzing them even, I mean, every you know ball screen, which they were able to kind of pass out of early on. Not so much in the second half. Did something change in terms of how they would kind of get out of those, or how did that kind of turn around for you guys? Trey, and then the, the head coach, please. I'm sorry, can you repeat the question one more time? 
If you guys blitz in like almost every ball screen, they were able to kind of pass out of those early on, but you got to turn those into turnovers as the game went on. Did they like change something up and that's how you guys forced turnovers or how did that kind of change as the game went on? Uh, not necessarily. I think it was more of just what we did, um, upping, our, upping our aggressiveness on the defensive end. I think in the first half, uh, we were a little bit too tentative. Uh, we knew that they liked to play out of the skip as well, which, uh, you know, in preparing for that game, I think we were a little too too worried about that instead of focusing on what we do well, which is, you know, turning people over. So, you know, in the second half, uh, in halftime after we regrouped, we talked about, you know, how we only forced five turnovers and how, you know, that's unacceptable to us and how, you know, we were going to really try to, uh, quite frankly, just triple it like we normally do. And so, you know, credit to our guys, you know, maintaining that focus and really upping uh, the aggression, especially in the ball screen and forcing those big turnovers in key moments. Yeah, I, I would say <clears throat> certainly challenged our guys at halftime to, to be who we believe we can be as a team, regardless of the respect that we have for their program. I also am confident that over 40 minutes, the defensive pressure can have a cumulative effect on you. I mean, Rice played 40 minutes, Wells played 39. So I think over, over time, um, defensively it, it settles in for us and, and we're able to have that effect. We've been pretty good separating in second halves of games as you know we try to wear people down. So fortunate that it went that way for us in the second half. Yep, we're back here on the aisle. Thank you. <coughs> Coach, obviously you, know, you talk a lot about being focused on your daily habits, but you're now going to your second Sweet 16 in just three years at Iowa State. Can you just reflect on how much that means to you, um, to this program, to two Sweet 16s in three years? Yeah, you know, obviously um, it's a tremendous honor to lead this program. You look at our fans and the support we have. Um, I feel like I've grown up in coaching at Iowa State. So it's, it's a place that means so much to me, to my family. Um, it's, it's just, it's truly an honor. I got one of my best friends on the planet right down here to be on this journey with him as our athletics director. Um, the awesome support that we have um, from our administration, our fans, those who have come before us. I mean, um, man, it's pretty awesome experience. So uh, credit to our guys. They're the ones doing the hard work <laughs> every single day and um, certainly thankful to them, but um, very, very humbling, humbling experience for sure. Right hand side, thank you. This is um, how how convenient is it to to know that you can scout the team that you're going to play in the Sweet 16 like right now? Like how how different is that than maybe what you've been used to? And how beneficial is it to be able to just watch the team as opposed to having to get tape or watch it on TV? I think that's for you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know about all that. I just say like. We believe in our way of doing things, and you know we we certainly want to be aware of tendencies of our opponents and things that we can, um, you know, prepare for and be disruptive. But we spend a lot more time focusing on us being the best version of ourselves. So, you know, we'll we'll absolutely be very mindful of that opportunity, and at the same time. Uh, my message in our guys is going to be to continue to focus on us being the best team that we can be. Uh, we've had a great focus that way, and, and I feel really confident in our group um, as we do that. Anything else for the Cyclones of Iowa State? All right, gentlemen, thank you very much, and best of luck next weekend in Boston. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.